Uh, good evening, it's uh, Terry Travels the Universe. I'm uh, doing a short little video, or sort of short, on a uh, unboxing. I just picked up a uh, 2018 Zippo Vintage Look. Gonna unbox it here for you. Okay, take that apart. And this, kind of get that out of the way. <clears throat> this is what I picked up. Nice little piece. Got the old uh, style Zippo logo on the front. It's a vintage look. Let's see. It is a January 2018, and it's got the little Zippo patent number on the bottom. That's pretty cool. Let's get this uh, sticker off of here. If I can do it. There we go. Peel that, put that in there, okay, all smuts on there, okay, let's take a look and see what we got inside here. Hinges, got a little bit of play, it's pretty nice. Let's take a look at this insert. It is a 2017 an L. I believe this would be a December of 2017. Pretty, you know, it's basic insert. Uh, we're going to do here something I learned from uh, another fellow YouTuber who is phenomenal, Zippo Fanatic. Is you never store your Zippos with a flint in it because they can degrade and it will mess your life up trying to get that old flint out of there. It's not fun. Let me tell you, let me get this out of here. I'm not going to be using that. Okay, let's take a look and see how this baby was packed from Zippo. It's brand new. Okay. Looks like we got to pull some of this cotton out of there. Oh, yeah. Typical. Typical. And we have to repack this the right way. I learned... Some of this from uh, Mr. Zippo Fanatic. Very good YouTuber. Oh boy, I hate doing these. Give me a second. Uh, Wick's giving me a little bit of trouble, folks. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it through here. And there we go. We got it through. All righty. Well, I probably should have bent this before I put all this together, but I got it in there and it's bent up. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm going to pull this out of here and do it right. Put it here. And we'll bring it up there. There we go. Put that in there. All right, let's try to feed this through. There we go. There we go. Now it's in there, right? Okay, we're going to unpack some of this cotton here. A little trick I learned. Stretch it out. Looks like we got oh, four pieces. That was nice of them. Alrighty. Let's get this done here. Oh, looks like we got an extra. Even better. Okay, and then we'll do this. This extra piece here. We're going to unravel it if I don't tear it up. Okay, here we go. I'm going to split it on either side there. Okay, we're going to push this wick back out of the way there like so. Grab our cotton. Kind of 
work it down in there. It's not easy to do this when I can't see very well. Uh, get that all packed down in there. On that one side. There we go. Got to make sure we get this wick pulled away from the wall. We want most fluid on the wick as we can get. That's always a plus. Something else I learned. Oop, don't want to do that. All right. This gets a little tough. There we go. Oop, get in there, you little thing. All righty. Let's get this packed down in there. Way it's on there real nice. Yeah, alrighty, got maximum coverage on the wick there. Something I like been kind of experimenting with on packing these and it seems to work. Ooh, that's too much cotton. There we go. Get that pushed down in there nice and neat. There's your wick. Take our last little cotton ball. Some people like to fill those little crevices in the back. Some do, some don't. Okay, your lighter is repacked. And we find our little piece of felt here. Get that back on. Put our little spring back in. And that's it. It's repacked and ready to use whenever we're wanting to use it. That wick's a pretty good spot there. That's pretty even. And uh, Zippo Fanatic 77 did a video on this for the lift to fill. This little hole is for a spare flint, for those of you who may or may not know or are just new to the Zippos. It does have to lift the fill because if you fill through that, you're going to mess up the felt and you're not going to get the proper amount of fluid on your cotton. You know, let's pack that a little weird. There we go. Make sure this way when you open it up, you can fill your Zippo fully and be ready to go. And it will hold fluid for a while. But uh, yeah, that's an interesting little, little piece there. I, Kind of dig it and put my little warranty thing in there and that is my unboxing of the 2018 vintage look zippo it kind of has that 1930s 35 look with the nice slashes there those are kind of cool but uh there you go friends it's uh first attempt at an unboxing and a repacking so be gentle and <laughs> Hopefully at least a little bit of that will help you. Until next time, uh, it's Terry Travels the Universe. You guys have a, a nice day.